Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I've got a short video, uh, it's just a very quick video. It's a uh, Hubson 501 S. and I've had this about a month. I've flowed about six, seven times. I haven't done a review yet, uh, but that's coming shortly. <clears throat> what I want to talk about today is, uh, I went for a little flight, and uh, when I landed, it sounded a bit noisy, so I checked one of the motors out, and lo and behold, this motor here was a little bit, uh, noisy. The rest of them were fine, nice and smooth. You hear that? Sounds okay, nice and smooth. Uh, anyway, take it, take my way for it. These are like silky smooth and this sounded a little bit uh, rough. So what I've just found out which might be helpful, I mean I've done the oiling where you, I'll, I'll do a video of that later on where you just put a bit of oil on and you just touch it on, I'm just trying to put a little blob on and let it soak in and turn it. I've done all that and it, I can't tell what's made any difference. Uh, so uh, I've done all that. So what I've found out is just by chance I've just got something sharp in this case a scalpel and I just, is that, is that focused? I just turned about 10 degrees, 20 degrees, just turned the circle clip a little bit see if it was tight and then I give it another spin and it the noise went and it, the noise sounded like it was a bearing uh, rough and also when you hold the motor and turn it and feel it it sounded, it felt gritty like uh, as if the, the ball bearings were in the race are uh, rough exactly like I would expect, I would bet money that it was a bearing but anyway I turned that a little bit and the noise is gone uh, I can't really uh, I'll do it with one thing this evening. You can't really do it. I don't make you need that because it's banging up and down, but it's silent. Before it was like tapping. Uh, so, guys, that might help you out, uh, but don't write the motors off straight away. Just try this. And I've done this before, and I've never really done a video of it. Uh, on me, Ups and 109. There's a little brass bush, I don't know whether it's the same as on this one, but there's a, there's a circle clip and a brass bush and it made the same noise so I took the circle clip off, took the brass bush off, put it on a bit of uh, emery paper on glass and I rubbed it in like a figure of eight, turned it over a little, and I just rubbed it a bit in a bit of light oil, turned it round a little bit and done it again and then I put it, cleaned it, put it back and it's been perfect ever since. Uh, so it might be something you might want to check out. I think that's uh, definitely worth it. Anyway, uh, I flew this in the garden. This is obviously the SS version, double S. And I accidentally pushed a button on the controller, which I thought I was recording. Held it down for too long. And then it uh, went weird. It started to turn and go in a circle. And I was like, what? So I uh, basically panicked a bit because it was going to hit the trees. And I just reduced the power and managed to just land it in the grass. Anyway, I went and looked into it. <laughs> and I didn't even know that. Uh, I've never seen the instructions. It's got what they call an orbit mode. I didn't even know that. So uh, this is down to the flight controller, the latest version of the firmware. This is the firmware I'm using, if anyone's interested. Uh, just that bit there. Yeah. So I think it's the 1.1.36 in the flight controller what makes a difference. Anyway, that's another thing I'm I'm going to have to test out later on. Uh, apparently you can, if if that was you and the craft is and you're out about 50 meters or so or whatever, 10 meters, 20 meters, you send it up, it's going to orbit in a circle around your position, looking at you, which is. Uh, an interesting feature. One other thing which I've noticed, I didn't return to home and it uh, turned around and pointed at me and uh, came back forwards. So that's obviously another upgrade which I didn't know about. Uh, and one other thing just before I go, if you notice the, this on the end, this is a filter. Uh, so it's, uh, I don't know what type of filter it is but it's anti-glare or something, but 
it was in the packaging uh, and I put it on. So if anyone's interested, wondering what that was sticking out, it's not the lens, it's a filter. Uh, so it's a must stop lens glare or something like that. Polarising filter, I don't really know. Uh, but mainly, I was just about checking out that guys. Yeah. Uh, and one tiny little thing before I go, put a bit of tape on your memory card. If that comes out, uh, all weird things can happen to you, to the craft, I've noticed. Uh, not on mine, but I've heard other people say that. Maybe flyways or corrupted things, I don't know, but i just put a bit of tape across, uh, just to secure it. Okay guys, thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. Any comments, leave in the section below. Uh, please like and subscribe, thanks a lot guys. Okay guys. Uh, I forgot one other thing just before I close this video. Um, look about the motors. What I've noticed, I've found a little trick is see how these are shaped like a cone? Sounds a bit stupid, but these things fit inside your ear. <laughs> so bear with me. Now, if you put that inside your ear and then spin it, yeah, all the noise will transfer through into your, into your lug hole and you'll get a really good sound of the motors and you can tell as you check that one and check that one just like the stethoscope you do, we put stethoscopes in your ears put that in the ear canal, it just fits in nice and soft and then spin the motor and you feel it uh, make a nice noise and you can tell whether one's failing or you can hear the different sounds one might need a bit more oil than the other I just thought that was worth noting I just found out the other day it's perfectly channeled uh, designed a channel of noise into your ear uh, so as you spin it the noise just travels through there's that motor I've just uh, changed and can you hear that? it just sounds like silk hear them? that's just amazing and smooth I've just oiled one of them uh, oh, space. Yeah, and the last one, sweet. Sound really nice. Anyway, guys, just think it might be useful. Thanks for watching.